Hi, my name is Omar Suarez from Sanfalpe. In Sanfalpe, we believe that it is possible to create a new way of living where fossil fuels are no longer needed. And we are going to do it with this building that I have behind. We call it the Low Enthalpy Solar Building. Actually, in these last few days, we have been testing it and we can already say that it is the first solar building that works even when there's no sand, when it is cloudy and rainy. Well, it is surprising, it is amazing, but it is based on technology. We have patented a special technology that solves the two main limits of the technique. The first one is that we can store energy, we can store heat at low temperature and thereby with low losses. And the other possibility, the other limit that we have overcome is with these panels we are able to collect heat and electricity even when there's very little sand. We have managed to do it with radiations below 200 uh, watts per square meter. This graph shows the weather conditions and the temperatures inside of the house. The yellow line that we marked is the outside temperature. We can see on the 7th of November that the temperature is almost the whole day below 10 Celsius. The red line is the temperature of the heating system. Uh, so the blue line is the temperature of the, of the floor, uh, the tiles of the floor. We mark the beginning of the day and we compare temperatures between the beginning and the end of the 7th of November and we see that there has been an increase of uh, 0.2 Celsius which are 5 kilowatts hour extra considering that the only structure acting as a battery is more than 110 tons. That's really remarkable considering that the radiation in those central hours is below 200 uh, watts per square meter it's only diffuse radiation, there is no sun at all. We are taking that diffuse radiation to increase temperature in our heating system as shown in the red line until the moment where we stop and uh, that uh, heat is diffused uh, all through the slab that is acting as a storing as a battery, heating battery, and well, that's pretty amazing considering that uh, the radiation we got that day was uh, very low, only 200 watts per square meter cloudy radiation. With our technology, with very small electricity production in the photovoltaic system, we are able to move the heat pan and absorb uh, thermal energy at a relatively high temperature which is very easy to push inside of the, of the building to the radiant floor at temperatures of 21 to 25 uh, Celsius uh, we use the 25 in order to increase the transfer rate and be as efficient as possible in the minimum uh, potential time Bar graph shows the photovoltaic production in the orange bars and the heat pan production in the turkeys bars. And the graph on the right shows the accumulation for the two days. Uh, in blue, uh, we have the photovoltaic production, which has been used for the heat pan and the other electrical devices like the cutting and mixing machines that we are still using at the final stages. Of construction in general, we see the photovoltaic production we sent to the grid to cover the very little electricity we took from from the grid at night uh, because we still have not installed the lithium batteries. The conclusion is that Sunsalpi has got very positive energy balance even at winter cloudy conditions. This is the beginning of the solar building that doesn't need sand. In the following weeks, we will activate our sewing pool 
as a heated storage and the lithium batteries uh, expecting to just cut our connection from the grid and be 100% autonomous just using the sand that strikes or the no sand that strikes on our facade.